Commander might not be the best way to play Magic. I know, I can't believe I said it into a microphone either. Let's talk about it. There are a parade of popular formats which Magic the Gathering players and enthusiasts like you and me can use to sling our spells and express how we love to play our favorite trading card game. From Standard to Pioneer, all of these formats are viable and fun, but it's no secret that our community has deemed Commander to be number one. It is the top format. Everything is made for Commander. That's all anyone talks about. But I most must have you know woken up and chosen violence this morning, because not only am I going to tell you that Modern is the most criminally underrated way that you and I can play Magic the Gathering, I'm also going to compare it to Commander over and over again and try to convince you it might just be better but to do that we need to know what the modern format is we then need to kind of compare it to different events and different ways that people play and experience commander and then finally because i know you guys love to roast me i am going to talk about a big downfall to this format in the comment section so you guys get a chance to have at me but we need to start with what is modern well modern is a way to play one-on-one -on -one magic the gathering usually with a 60 card deck and a 15 card sideboard the legal sets are standard sets from mirrodin on forward as well as the modern horizon sets but modern gets a bad rap here and maybe it's first bad rap of the reps we're going to be talking about and then it's dominated by the horizon sets and yes the horizon sets make up a good amount of the viable cards we played in top tier modern 100 as far as your tier one decks go you will likely not see one without some serious horizons cards from modern horizons one or two in them but hey i mean maybe that's why modern horizons 2 is the most sold magic the gathering product ever but make no mistake about it standard sets are still making a dent on the format from merc you know not merc tide region sorry from fable of the mirror breaker to ledger shredder there are plenty of cards from standard releases that are making a dent in all these decks and i think you would be surprised if you looked at some of the modern strategies that interested you you might see some pet cards of yours that you know kind of want to lean in to casting but the second bad rap modern really gets is that it's a highly competitive format and commander has really centered itself and cornered the market on we're the casual players this is the casual way to play magic the gathering we don't want you tournament spikes interrupting what we're doing and, and i'm gonna stop you right there because here's a little secret Commander players also build their decks to interact and win. And Modern is a highly interactive format. And a lot of this pressure comes from turn one in a game of Modern. You often have decisions to make. And when a player has decisions to make, they feel like any mistake might be game ending. That is often not true. Your opponent doesn't necessarily know the perfect line. Just play it out, see how it goes. And spoiler alert, it's okay to build your deck, to have interactions, to start slinging your spells right away and to have a way to try try to win the game you know like i said the commander seems we like to say oh we're this four fun format but every commander player builds tons of interaction and different ways to lock their opponent out and win the game so i don't understand why you know modern gets its bad rap and in fact the more interaction in my opinion the better from turn one we're interacting we're going back and forth there's no build up there's no weight we're hitting the ground running it's another reason that i love to play modern and this does bring me to a side tangent because we talked about modern being you know there's this there's this idea that modern is just is just too competitive right it's only for tournament spikes it's only for highly competitive people and for some reason the commander community and the magic the gathering community has deemed that commander has cornered the market also on the power level discussion guys if you get out there and you play a modern deck or you get into modern with your friend or group of friends or play playgroup or whatever it might be it's totally okay to sit down and have the power level discussion in fact if you visit mtg goldfish and look at tournament results from various challenges or what have you not only like we talked about earlier there's a litany of prices that you can choose from for what you can afford what your budget is but the number of strategies that are proved to be viable and going you know 4-1-5-0-3-2 having a blast doing so is just 
just new num it's numerous i was going to make a list of these strategies in blue gonna pop it up on the screen like right here and be like oh my gosh look at all the ways you can play there's just so many i i couldn't even do it before i made this video so it's okay to sit down and have a power level discussion maybe say this is what my deck is this was is what my deck isn't but this is where we kind of lean into maybe some detriments of the format so if you're looking to roast me in the comment section this might be where you want to start doing it Modern is definitely something that if you're not already entrenched in, it's hard to build multiple decks. Often decks, you know, requiring four ofs, unlike Commander, mean that you have to have more cards at your disposal. You have to be able to pick them up and you have to be able to swap your cards in and out on the go if you're going to change to, you know, a variety of, of different decks. But that's not unlike any other Magic the Gathering format. And yes, Commander, even you, I'm looking at you. Because when you go to build a new Commander deck, if you are building into a strategy, an archetype, or even a color combo that you haven't touched before, and you're playing at any kind of decent level, your mana base and the cards in that deck are going to start to be expensive. So often you're going to have to save up and wait. But luckily in Commander, you can use your current deck and play it over and over again. Well, Modern's an internal format. It's so great. You can continue to do that while you build your Modern collection, while you built out all your different decks and strategies that you want to try, that you want to have fun with, you can still use your first deck at your FNM, at your kitchen table as a legal Modern deck. And oh man, it is fantastic. So that downfall, you know, it's not really that great of a downfall, but I will admit that Modern has a downfall that I have encountered myself, and I think you guys might have me here on this one. So get your keyboards ready because you might have me. Often, when people go to experience Modern at an event or Modern at their local game store, or maybe, you know, they're like, hey, I want to try Modern. I'm going to SCG Con to a 10K to a 5K, whatever it might be. We run into the hardcore tournament spike, kind of a jerk, calling the judge, being nitpicky about every bit of rule, making sure they get every piece of incremental advantage to take you down. And this part of the community, it can happen. It definitely can happen. I've seen it happen. But I've also seen it happen in Commander. That's right. The people that you play with are so important when it comes to any Magic the Gathering format. And Modern is no exception. You will run into your fair share of players that are playing either at a more serious or more casual level than you are. And you might have a negative experience. But that is not a modern problem. And modern problems require modern solutions. This is not a modern solution because it's not a modern problem. Guys, I want to know if you think modern is not only underrated but is getting a bad rap after the things I've talked about today. And it looks like 87% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel. So I'd appreciate it so much if you could subscribe. And the most important thing you can do here is share this video with a friend or group of friends that either want to have cool, chill discussions like this, or maybe think Modern's a bogus format and need to be set on the straight and narrow. Guys, I really think Modern is a criminally underrated way to play Magic the Gathering. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, you guys know me when my name is Josh. We'll see you around. Come on.